Here we are, another day. Let's see who, what kind of drivers there are out on the road. Let's see if we can find up, pick up any silly ones. Um, first day of work, volunteer work, work for the doll, whatever you want to call it. And um, I'm quite possibly already running late. Late, late, late. So, we better aim square. Didn't get any sleep last night, so yeah. So but anyway, we'll see if we um how the day goes. Certainly could do with a already warmed up car, that's for sure. It's pretty cold at the moment. And when you haven't had enough sleep or any sleep Things tend to get a bit more temperamental. <sighs> so let's see if we can settle in for a nice relaxing drive, hopefully. Yesterday was a nice cloudy day as well, so... Australia's number one landscape company. Employ today www.landscapesolutions.com.au. They're hiring. There you go.
Might have to put my name down too. Although I'm not a landscaper and have very little to do with landscaping, and my knee and back would say no to landscaping. So. Mercedes. Fuel's halfway. Cool. Probably should check that before I leave. <laughs> Before working for the doll, fuel lasts me about a month. You know, because I don't go where, anywhere much, and this car, being a Holden Commodore, has a seven litre fuel tank. So. My previous car, which was a Ford, uh, a Ford Telstar. Four liter two cylinder engine FS Mazda FS, <laughs> and um, yeah, it had a 60 liter fuel tank. Mum's Nissan Pulsar, it's a 50 liter fuel tank. But I expect the fuel to not last as long. A week, week and a half, maybe. If that. Oh, car's running temperature. More often than not, it does take people a while to figure out the lights have changed. school zone. School zone is there, I suppose, but the school zone is not active. They still are on going about 50-ish. Speeding up, slowing down, speeding up, slowing down.
This fella's a bit dubious. All I can tell is you're under an automatic transmission, most likely. speed along here as well. Probably not so much in the mornings, but in the afternoons, yes. Quite often in the mornings too, I suppose. Scooter. Female driver. <laughs> okay. Look, I'm not trying to be disparaging. I'm not trying to be disparaging towards female drivers. My mum's a female driver. She's a great driver. My sister, probably not so much, but... girlfriend's mother. She's a good driver too. Certainly not the best and very uh, questionable in some of her methods but she's a good driver nonetheless. She's probably a good driver too just a a tad slow, particularly for that kind of vehicle. I'm not saying she should be speedy guns, Alice. Maybe she could pick up the pace a little.
people speed along here too. Pretty much this route we're taking today, people speed along. <laughs> Morning and afternoon. Probably all day long, really. There's a VW Golf that's, you know, very sporty. He tends to go 90. <laughs> Brakes aren't terribly good on this vehicle. Vehicle. <laughs> vehicle. Car. But you might not consider that the brakes overall probably 25 to 30%. And Mum's car is a lot lighter than this thing. <laughs> tell the difference in the bearings. The front two bearings are a bit
Хорошая. Блин.
anything to get ahead of, even for a fraction of a second. too close to the gutter but I got in. And okay. Oh, oh look at that. Still got four minutes to get to work. <laughs> so much running I think. I wasn't terribly concerned since um, I wasn't going at peak hour traffic so yeah it's up. All I have to do now is get some socks on and get my shoes on. Since I tend to wear thongs or sandals, as other people might call them. And um, get the hell out of here. Uh, right. Of course, I start work at 10, so I get off at uh, 3.30. So I'll see you around 3.30. Adios, amigos. Okay, people, we're back. Just got back from work and, um, hmm... Let's just say, it was very interesting. It's like a production line type thing. I was doing something for, um, beer. Um, six pack containers. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, just taking off my shit. Off the shit. I took my shoes off already. Just taking my socks off. Ooh, feels so much better. Oh, thank God. Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm, definitely gotta clean that out. And as you can see, it's raining. How glorious is that? I get to drive home in near peak hour traffic in the rain without any music. Ah oh, well, <clears throat> that's why I might have to burn some, get some. Well, I don't have an MP3 player, but I do have a CD player. And better than just putting on the radio where I might get copyright infringements. And EMI and Sony might end up probably... Uh, oh, excuse me. Um, monetizing my videos. That's not something we want, is it? We want money to go to the little guys, if at all. And I'm a bit pedantic about my windows. Oh, hang on. Before I do anything, I'll get my phone out from 
behind my uh, pedals. And I must have snuck up there while I was uh, having a lie down in my car at lunch. Okay. Shall we go see the idiot out on the road? And see who's doing naughty stuff? That was me looking at my rear brakes. Because I forgot to undo my parking brakes. So now, I'll probably put a bald spot on my tyre. Again. Tyres. Oh dear, 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 dear. All the hullabalooza. Suffice to say, working with disabled people again is... Well, in this context, it's different. I mean, it's the Endeavour Foundation, so by all means, donate to the Endeavour Foundation. People there do good work, and at uh, a company that's sort of Australia-wide as well. So, and seeing what they do there at the at one of the um, retail slash uh, warehouse outlets, it's uh, very. Uh, Peculiar how they get these people doing this work. And of course, all money goes to the Endeavour to ch Endeavour charity. So. Yeah, that could have went better. It seems that the rain and full moons as, as well tend to bring out the worst in people, particularly around like roundabouts. And look at that geezer, chick, whatever. She drove over an island. A paint island, a painted island, whatever you want to call it. If it was a real island, she would have went. Mm. slept yet. Not properly. With the change in medication it's uh, difficult to get some sleep. I asked the chemist for non-generic. Oh, I didn't, I didn't ask him for non-generic did I? They usually ask me if I want the same or non-generic whatever so in this case, he gave me whatever he, I got from that particular chemist last time. Instead of giving me the medication I got from another chemist, which was the original, non-generic one, which was also written on the script instead. So, yeah, you can imagine my frustration. I would have went to the other chemist, except it was closed. Skipping a day or two is usually not a good idea for uh, this type of medication, but in a lot of cases it, it doesn't matter. Uh, probably because it's I've been on it for a very long time; it's not working as well as it used to. It might have took me ten plus years, and I also think they changed the formulation as well. So. No, I probably won't tell you what medication I'm on. Not that it will make any difference whatsoever to um, me making these videos or whatnot. But I'm not going to go into the whole long-winded explanation and all that sort of shwait. But 
But suffice to say, I'm very tired. As far as I know, it's not a school zone, but everyone's only going like 15 and 60 zone. Which you're supposed to go 10k slower in the rain, but most people don't, so it's sort of like that. Uh, See, it's a no big deal because uh, quite a bit of traffic, so I'm just gonna have to sit and grin it and bear it. See, now we're coming up to a school zone, so we'll have to go 40 instead of 50. So, so there's no real point in speeding up. adjust the camera so that I don't catch my hand on the steering wheel like that too much so that I'll adjust the brightness to my hand yeah, you can thank me a douche if I want to put my hand up there all you want but I don't really care because it doesn't matter where I place my hand I'll do the exact same thing Sort of, I know I'm sort of all over the road here at the moment, so. At least I'm still in my lane anyway. control since it's wet weather. <clears throat> can never like oh hmm. see his number plate? That's a Queensland number plate is typically one of two sets of colors maroon on white which that one is and green on white and those are the typical New South Wales ones are black on yellow and black on white don't know where I was up to but I was talking about these Queensland plate. This fellow is in front of us is a Queenslander. So typical colours for the Queensland plates are maroon on white and green on white. In New South Wales is black on yellow and black on white. For my car, I have black on yellow because it's the cheaper of the two options. Victoria is usually um, blue on white. see a lot of Victorians around too. And that Mercedes has a Euro plate. Euro style plate. And now of course you can get custom colours but they cost a fair bit. Well, 180 bucks once off. But if you want completely custom, like we passed uh, the black SUV with hauling the trailer, his number plate was NZ. As far as I know, NZ is a uh, housing company, but anyway, he, he, that number plate would probably cost him about. 400 bucks a year.
Victorian, I think. Might be South Australian, because I think South Australian is also bloody blue and white too. Uh, there's a Victorian in that light grey one. to custom colored and custom uh, numbered plates you can tell what state they are in because it says New South NSW in Queensland and Vic and SA or South Australia and Victoria and Perth or WA I wouldn't say Perth, I would say WA or Western Australia Let's get the hell out of here. This road is actually this one. High five if you want to hear my singing. No? YouTubers tend to do periodical updates of their views of their channel and stuff like that. 
particularly when they reach milestones, but I'm not going to do any of that. I don't see any point, particularly at the moment. See uh, why one of the reasons why I complain about this corner sometimes. This intersection, I should say, not corner. It's not a corner. It's an intersection. Oh, I might have to turn the heat up a bit more. Yeah. Cars up to temperature. Ooh. Still feel cold, you know. The other feature about this Commodore is, um, yeah, if you don't know about Commodore, that is, uh, it, when you put it into drive, it locks the doors. Oh, okay, maybe you won't get to see why I complain about the intersection, junction, whatever. Mm. Oh, I've got to fix that oil leak. Uh, I've got low battery now. But yeah. Probably missed the intersection altogether. I don't know. But I've got to fix this oil leak. It's probably the valve cover just because it's only been happening recently. Oh, it's not bad, but you can get a faint smell of oil burning. And if it's where I think it is, it's towards the rear of the engine block, which means it's probably. Maybe dripping on the exhaust as well. should do it every time you get in your car and just check all your external lights. Yeah, I know, phone. Oh, battery low. But I 
lot of people don't do it, but what they should do once a week or once a month or whatever is periodically go around and check the external lights on your car. I've seen people drive around with no no brake lights. Well, one brake light, but it's you know the one that in the middle where it only go, it turns on when you hit the brakes. And then, of course, there's some people that go around with only one. Gee, thanks, Grandpa. It's illegal to smoke and drive, too. Might have to blur out, blur out his face. Dollar nine for the alarm. Probably was a dollar ten. Okay. used up that much fuel for I would say a big V8 a big big, big V6 I don't want to call it medium or small because I've had a 2.5 litre V8 um, V6 I mean and I know Mazda makes the K8 which is 1.8 litre V6 whereas I had the KL which is the 2.5 and of course Toyota often install and put in 3 litre and 3.5 litre V6s of course the new uh, Chevrolet Chevy engine is the 3.6 uh, litre V6 so. but it's quite a bit more powerful than this thing. I want to put the 3.6 in, but it's going to cost at least a grand to get the engine. And that's without the wiring harness. I like the idea of the 3.6 litre variant. It's not really a variant, it's a completely new Chevy engine. Whereas this one's based on the Buick. Which then Buick sold to Jeep and I don't know. Buick got owned by GM, which then sold the engine to Jeep, I think, and bought it back from Jeep. I think. Don't worry about trying to correct me or anything like that on that. You can look it up. But yeah. The 3.6 litre Chevy engine, which goes into this thing, these things, and has the quad overhead cams. That's what they call it, don't they? Like two sets of cams on each bank, so. Whereas this one, if you're familiar with the old type of single cam uh, rocker arm V8 type thing that's that kind of setup, it's a single cam, two valves per cylinder, uh, moderate, very, very moderate lift ratio and um, Yeah. 3.6 litre Chevy engine also has four valves per cylinder. Speed 
camera. But that speed camera is deactive, non active. So. said that and so I'm probably will see this video and try and get active again. Just a Honda. actually turning. The this set of lights is a pain in the ass when it's going home time. Which three o'clock is uh, you know, school's there kind of things. So. give this bus a wide berth. Not that I need to, but... 